What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and today I'm going to show you a quick tip that some of you have been asking me about and I want to show it to you today because this is something that I always use when I'm recording in Logic Pro, specifically drums. Basically when I record drums I kind of play out all my drum samples, instruments under one region and as we all know that's not a good thing to do because when it comes down to mixing you want your drums to be on separate tracks, so like your kick on one track, your snare on one track and so on. I'm going to go ahead and play and... Whoop, I'm going to go ahead and play and show you on this region right here that all my um, all my drums are uh, and samples are all under one region. And like I just said, it's not a good thing. All right, so there's right there. So basically, let's pretend that my drum track is done and now it's time for mixing the individual samples. So what am I going to do? Am I going to go create EXS24 instruments and just copy this region and take out? No, because that's a very long way. The quick way is to select your region, your MIDI region, go to MIDI, go to separate MIDI, separate MIDI events, go by note pitch. And what Logic will do, will, it will take that region, look at all the MIDI data in it, and then kind of separate it into individual tracks. And now I got my kick on one track. I got my snare and so forth. So like I said, this is an easy way to go in. So if I want to EQ properly my kick, I just solo that and take a listen to my kick and I could go on from there rather than having a whole mess of all the drums under one region. You want them under separate tracks. So that is how you separate your region by note pitch in Logic Pro. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section and as usual, more great videos coming soon. So remember to subscribe guys. I'll talk to you soon. Later.